Uh, let's go to Dave uh, uh, Bollison right now. As the former FEMA director, Dave, uh, we had the pleasure of speaking, and I appreciate you always taking the time to do so. I'd be curious right now your sense of how this seems, at least to me, uh, Sandy-like. In other words, surge, uh, you know, staying put for a long time, flooding, um, equally, if not even more dangerous. What do you think? Yeah, I, I agree with you. This, this is going to be more of a water a flooding event than a wind event, except for the, also the Barry Islands got hammered. And, you know, we're going to have a lot of homes with no roofs uh, and that type of damage. But inland, uh, what we're hoping is it won't have as much wind damage, but have, it'll be, but it's going to be a lot of water, a lot of flooding because of the terrain. Uh, it's not as flat as what we saw in Houston. It's more hilly, uh, more, more chances for the low-lying areas to really flood. My concern, my concern right now is that people trying to get out of their homes too soon. Uh, they need to stay put until these winds die down, until the water start receding. People that decided not to, not to evacuate, decided to shelter in place. Now is when they start getting hurt, when they try to get out of the homes and look at the damage. Just, just stay put. Stay where you are. If you're in a safe place, you know, wait until the, the local emergency manager say it's all clear to get out and, and start working around your house. Um, Dave, what is the rule of thumb for people who could be in harm's way as this swings in a more northeasterly direction over the next few days? Obviously, not nearly as powerful as it is now, but still dumping a lot of rain. What, what do you tell them? Uh, you know, again, just, just stay put. The, uh, our, our rule of thumb was if the winds are more than 40 or 45 miles an hour, uh, we can't put ambulances on the road. We can't put fire trucks on the road because they tend to turn over. So when those winds, until those winds die down, you need to stay exactly where you are and just, you know, just hunker down. If you're in a safe place, uh, if you're not in a safe place, you need to find something else to do. But it's going to be very difficult for the first responders to get in to help you if you get hurt uh, it, during this period of time. So FEMA's role right now would be what? Well, FEMA's role is, is they've, they've already prepositioned uh, hundreds of ambulances, uh, 25 ur urban search and rescue teams. Uh, they've moved a lot of people in there. They've moved a lot of supplies in. But they will work with the state and the, and the local communities uh, to work together to make sure they get the supplies to the right places and get the help in the right numbers of people. Uh, so the urban search and rescue team, as soon as the winds die down, they'll start going out of the street. They'll go home to home and check in each house to make sure people are okay. Uh, and then, uh, then the, again, working with the local community to say, okay, where do we do the supplies? Where do you want them? And how, how do you want them distributed? All right. In the meantime, uh, I was talking to a Duke power official, a, a big utility provides most of the power to folks in North Carolina, I think uh, uh, upwards of 4 million of them. But 3 million will, in the course of this storm, be without power. The only issue is how long they'll be without it. What it, does FEMA do for folks like that where this could last weeks? The, well, there, uh, there was, the shelters will be open. Uh, FEMA is not going to distribute generators unless you have a medical need for a generator. Uh, but there will be food and water available, uh, and you know you're going to be without power. You, you know, if you have water, you're going to be taking cold showers. We, you know, <laughs> I did it myself when Hurricane Irma came through last year. We didn't have power for about four days, and you know, you just you just deal with it. And um, and as long as your home is not flooded, as long as your home is safe. You know, you can stay there if you have food and water and, and uh, enough supplies to, to get by. Hopefully, if you decide to shelter in place, you had enough batteries, you had enough food, you had enough water to get yourself by for three or four or five days. All right. Uh, Dave Paulison, former FEMA director, thank you very, very much.